Hey everyone, welcome. In last week's video, I shared with you my experience on Unraid you see on the background for the last eight months. In that video, I also showed you the, well, the frame rate issues I have with GTA 5, for example, at the moment. So I have a GTX 1070 Ti on pass through on a gaming VM and I stream through Moonlight or Nvidia GameStream for that matter. And that's basically how I play my games when I'm in the living room or when I'm away from home. And that worked pretty well, um, except the frame rate isn't a steady 60. And I thought the Ryzen 2700X in combination with the GTX 1070 Ti must be powerful enough for running these games. The VM has a four cores and eight threads, um, at the moment 10 gigabytes of RAM. And in the video I had isolated core zero to seven uh, for the gaming VM. And people pointed out that, well, Isolating cores 0 and 1 in your case doesn't really help in any way. Um, it's a comment from Sebastian Wagner. Well, he is absolutely right. But I was testing. Before that, it was on the last four cores and the last eight threads. But because I was testing, I changed that to the first four cores and eight threads, uh, which I isolated. And I should have mentioned that in the video. Another comment I had on the video is from Frosty. And he mentions, what speed RAM are you running as Ryzen likes the faster RAM speeds? Well, that's actually quite a good question because the RAM that is used in my Unraid server um, now is 32 gigabytes of a DDR4 ECC RAM and is running on standard speeds of 2133 megahertz. So that's quite slow for, uh, for a Ryzen CPU. And I was familiar with the fact that Ryzen might benefit of higher RAM speeds, but I actually didn't test it with this Unraid build. And before Unraid, this was basically my gaming system. To be fair, I didn't have issues like this. Uh, at that time I was using 3600 megahertz RAM. It was G-Skill Sniper X. So that could explain why I didn't have problems like this. Last weekend, I wanted to test some things out with faster RAM speeds, maybe do a little bit of overclocking. But at first I wanted to get the RAM from my i9 gaming build, which is Corsair Dominator Platinum 3200 MHz into my Ryzen server. Um, also 32 gigabytes by the way, test a couple of things out and see if the frame rate in GTA 5 would actually increase with faster RAM. So I took the Unraid server from the basement, installed the Dominator RAM and while I was at it I thought well maybe we can do a BIOS update as well because I saw there were a couple of new BIOSes uh, released after um, I turned this one into an Unraid server and some of them had some um, system performance improvements. Little did I know at that point. So. I thought, well, we go with the newest version and then I will be ready when I want to upgrade, maybe to an, a new Ryzen uh, 3950X. So after the flash, I had to change a couple of settings again. Um, after that, I booted to Unraid and after Unraid was started, I started the gaming VM. And to my surprise, um, I didn't have a output on the HDMI anymore. So I shut down the VM. I wanted to start it again and then it gave me this error. No bells ringing at this moment. I thought, well, of course I could just install a first GPU, set the GTX 1070 as a second GPU again, and yeah, well, maybe that will work. So I did that, started up the server again, and when Unraid was done, I had a go again with my VM. Still no output on the HDMI. Uh, so I force closed it, I started it again, and still the same error. So I figured that the problem might be uh, related to the BIOS upgrade. So I flashed version 5216, still had some system improvements, whatever they may be, and I got exactly the same results. So at that point, uh, I was a little bit confused. After that, I tried version 5204, you see in the background, uh, and you can see I download them, well, literally almost all of them, um, until I got to this version, and that is a 4602, and then it gave me this message. Yeah, so a backflash below 4804 wasn't possible. Um, that was a bit of an issue because I tried those, all of those, until now it didn't work. So that was basically a big problem for me. So still the same error and at this point actually no clue on what it could be. I decided to do a couple of Google searches which led me to, yeah, you can see it here, these websites, uh, one is on Reddit, one is on the Unraid forums, and one is even on the AMD website on the forum. Yeah, 
uh, all with the same problems. And what it comes down to is that the new BIOS, apparently, uh, that supports uh, Ryzen 3000 series, um, broke IO MMU. So uh, especially with the GPU pass-through in this case, um, that's simply not going to happen. So I decided to do a backflash of the BIOS manually by using the tool AFU EFIX64. And when I did the dry run, it gave me an error message that the ROM size was different than the currently installed ROM. So uh, that didn't work for me. So I had only one chance to get this BIOS back to the old version that was on it before. And uh, that was through AFU DOS. So I put the old BIOS with AFU DOS on a USB stick, uh, started up from that, just flashed the BIOS and well, luckily um, nothing broke and it still worked and I had the old BIOS again. So with the BIOS flashing, upgrading and downgrading out of the way and well, back on version 4024 uh, as it was before, I finally got to test with the RAM speeds and see what impact it had on my gaming VM. So I did a couple of test runs with GTA 5. So the first test was run with my Samsung ECC memory on 2133 MHz. The second test was run with the same RAM, but on 3200 MHz on 1.35 volts and the rest left on auto. The third test was run with Corsair Dominator Platinum on 3200 MHz at 1.35 volts. These were the settings I benchmarked with and let's have a look at it. So those were the benchmarks of only one game. It was the built-in benchmark of GTA 5. Yeah, faster RAM definitely increases the performance of your Ryzen machine. And not by a small margin, I might add, because the performance increase I got was between 10 and 15%. And for GTA 5 on these settings, that's enough to get, well, most of the time a steady 60. So at this point, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Of course, I could overclock this ECC RAM to 3200 megahertz on 1.35 volts and probably be fine. 
but I'm not all that thrilled about overclocking, especially not on a server that's used for more things than only gaming. And to be fair, it's basically only with GTA 5 that I, that I have issues like this with. Um, another option would be to replace this RAM kit with a 32 gigabyte, 3200 megahertz kit, for example, or even faster. Yeah, that would add additional cost that I could put in a RAID controller as well. Yeah, I will think that over and, and see what I will do with that. I just wanted to share with you my uh, BIOS flash upgrade and downgrade experience. And of course, the performance increase that can be gained with a faster RAM. So with that being said, if you have any comments, suggestions, maybe some advice, you can leave them down in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.